All right, so next step up, we're going to take a look at factorizing some non-monic cubics. So what we've got happening now, okay, we now have a coefficient in front of the leading term, the x squared term, which is not 1. Really, it doesn't change your process at all. It just makes the factorizing um, of the quadratic. We have to use one of our alternative strategies, so either cross product method um, or decomposition through grouping. So here I've called it p of x, which is 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 14x plus 8. Okay. Now what we're working through here, same process, try a bunch of values, which are factors of 8, plus and minus until we get something that sets it to 0. When we've got a non-monic, if all of the factors of 8 fail, you can start trying factors of 8 over factors of 2. So you might try um, 1 half, okay, negative 1 half. <clears throat> but we're definitely going to try all the factors of 8 first. And we only have to go to that if none of those work. So here we go. Start by trying 1. P of 1. Okay, if I type that in, that's 2 times 1 cubed minus 5 times 1 squared minus 14 times 1 plus 8. Okay, plugging that in, that's really 2 minus 5 minus 14 plus 8. Really, you don't even have to figure out what the actual value is. I know that's not 0, but we'll just say it's equal to negative 9. Again, really doesn't matter what it actually is if it's not 0. So I try negative 1. P of negative 1. Well, that's 2 times negative 1 cubed minus 5 times negative 1 squared minus 14 times negative 1 plus 8. Again, now I get negative 2, still minus 5. Now I get plus 14 and plus 8. Okay, now I end up on the other side of things. I get 15, which is way too big. Got my equal sign there. So again, that's no good keep trying. Maybe I'll try 2. So again, feel free to work these through by hand using a scientific calculator. Um, again, if you had the CAS, you would definitely just be doing the factor technique. So now I get 2 times 2 cubed minus 5 times 2 squared minus 14 times 2 plus 8. Still not looking overly promising. Okay, so that's 8 times 2 is 16 minus 20 minus 28. Not looking good. Plus 8. Again, not 0. Hopefully we're getting there, maybe. Try negative 2. P of negative 2. That's 2 times negative 2. Cubed. Minus 5 times negative 2. Squared. Minus 14 times negative 2 plus 8. This isn't looking too bad here. I get negative 16 minus 20 plus 28 plus 8. We've gotten there. We found our first linear factor. Okay, So here I know okay. this time x plus 2 is a linear factor. Okay, So that's the hard part out of the way. Getting that first factor, once we've got that, we're going through long dividing and then factorizing a quadratic, which again should be old hat. So I start setting it up, ideally not in highlighter. We've got x plus 2 
we're dividing 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 14x plus 8. Okay. So first question divides in, well that's 2x squared times multiplying, I get 2x cubed plus 4x squared Give me negative 9x squared. I've forgotten my x initially. Make sure you put that x in there. Okay, then the question becomes x times what is negative 9x squared. Well, that's negative 9x. Give me negative 9x squared minus 18x. You don't want that to happen. Negative 14 plus 18 is 4x plus 8. This is looking good. x into 4x goes 4 times. So I get 4x plus 8. I'm multiplying. Again, if you don't get 0, have to go back, there was an error made somewhere. So now I get the x plus 2 times 2x squared. Sorry. Minus 9x plus 4. Okay. So that's what my p of x is so far. Now I need to factorize that guy. Okay? So Use whichever factorizing technique is your favorite. Okay, so I need to factorize, well, what's 2x squared minus 9x plus 4? All right, so my favorite factorizing technique when I've got non-monic quadratics, okay, is to go through and do the decomposition method. So I'm going to break this middle term into two pieces very strategically. To decide how to break it, I ask myself, well, these two numbers I'm going to break 9 into I need to add up to 9 because I'm going to break 9 up. This where it gets a little bit different. Instead of just multiplying to 4, it needs to multiply to the product of 2 times 4. Okay. Hopefully you can see this one fairly quickly. This is just negative 1 and negative 8. So I then break 9x into those two pieces. So the 2x squared stays, but now 9x I'm going to write as minus x, minus 8x. Again, together that makes minus 9x. I've just very strategically broken it up. Factorize by grouping. So the first bit, all I can take out is x, and I'm left with much like a 2, 2x minus 1. The second bit, if I take out negative 4, I get, again, 2x minus 1. So factorizing that quadratic is x minus 4 and 2x minus 1. And then the last little bit, we just need to state our answer. So our first linear factor was that x plus 2. If I'd kept trying, I would have gotten to my factor of x minus 4. And then this factor of 2x minus 1, which would result in 1 half also being set to 0. Okay? So the only really difference between non-monic and monic is when you get to the qu quadratic. Um, you can't just break it up nicely. You'll either need to use decomposition or your cross product method. So what multiplies to 2x squared and multiplies to 4? Okay, so you would have tried 2x and minus 1, and x, and minus 4 would have given you negative 8. So that would have, if you've done a cross product method, same thing. Okay, so that's factorizing non-monics.